hey what is up guys this is Jarvis back in another video and in this video I'm gonna do the installation and the review of best gaming room for Poco X2 so if you are new here then do consider subscribing the channel if you already subscribe it then press the bell icon for the latest update so let's roll the intro without wasting more time Preview. here is my Poco X2 and I'm gonna install CR Droid custom room in this device let me show you first the current android version of this device so guys as you can see this device is running on android 11 with miui version 12.1.3 Now I'm gonna power off my device and boot my device into the recovery mode by pressing volume up and power key simultaneously. To install custom ROM any custom recovery must be installed on your device. If you don't know how to install custom recovery on POCO X2 then check the card here. My device is now boots up into detailed warp recovery. So guys here is my ROM and I'm gonna flash this. I will provide the direct link of this ROM in the description box. You can download this ROM from the description box. As you can see device is POCO X2, version is 5.1 and android version is android 11. Installation might take 3 to 4 minutes so I am gonna fast forward the video. Installation is not successful, go back and tap on wipe, tap on format data, type yes and hit enter it will delete all the data from the internal memory format is successful just press on reboot system guys first reboot might take quite a while but don't worry it's normal it might take 5 to 6 minutes so i am gonna fast forward this video to make this video short device is now boots up successfully so this is how a ui looks like out of the box first of all let's talk about this launcher we can get the wallpaper right from here and here we have some pre-installed wallpaper and we can also download live wallpaper from .os exclusive site now let me show you the android version of this custom room so this is how a setting look like i'm gonna open this about phone and so guys as you can see android version is android 11 and we have the security patch update is from may 5 2021 and we have 49 gb free out of 64 gb and dot os version is 5.1 let me show you which kernel they are using so they are using Radcliffe version 2.5 and now i am gonna show you the average free ram so here is developer option and here we have the memory so as you can see 3.7 gb free out of 5.8 gb now let's talk about the gesture setting and here we have system navigation we can select two button or three button navigation and in navigation gestures we can control the left and right edge sensitivity let me go back and let's talk about this status bar tuner from here we can enable or disable icon from the status bar this room has really good range of customization and here we have the customization option and we can customize everything from here first we have the wallpaper as we already seen this and here we have the status bar and we can change the battery style by just sliding over there and as you can see it is changing and we can also hide or unhide battery percentage like this we can also enable internet speed meter by just tapping on enable
here we have app lock and from here you can lock any application you want from clock face option you can select the clock interface for both lock screen and home screen There are other lot of customization features which you will explore while using this operating system. That's it with this customization feature. Now let's move to display option and here we have device specific setting in which you can select the minimum refresh rate and you can also select the refresh rate for saving your battery. And here we have the ambient display. You can enable always on ambient display. As you can see here it is. It's time to move to the security setting. So I will show you the fingerprint and face unlock speed. So I'm gonna set up my fingerprint and face unlock. My fingerprint is added. Let me show you how it's work. And guys, as you can see, it is very quick and it worked five out of five times. Now I'm gonna set up my face. My face is set up now I'm gonna unlock this lock screen with my face and as you can see let me enable skip lock screen option and here we go let's test it again and guys as you can see fingerprint is working perfectly and this is how quick setting icons look like and it is much similar to material UUI from Android 12. This ROM comes with pre-installed GFs, no need to install GFs manually but sadly it comes with the simple camera but you can install Gcam easily. Now let's test this ROM support fast charging or not. So guys yes as you can see here is the option of charging rapidly but it doesn't show ampere or what but it support fast charging too one eternity later now it's time to run geekbench application and test the geekbench score of this rom And guys the score is 406 for single core and 1452 for the multi core and guys this result is better than pixel experience room and many other custom room now I am gonna open and to 3d application and test the FPS for the custom room So guys result is in front of you and this result is much similar to all other custom room for the Poco X2. Now it's time to play PUBG and I'm gonna play TDM at smooth and ultra setting. Thank you. 
Let's go.
guys i almost tried more than 10 custom room in this poco x2 but the gameplay on this custom room is on another level so i give it a big thumbs up to this custom room and their developers doesn't matter you are a gamer or just average user and but i recommend to use this room as a daily drivers and guys if you find any bug in this room then do let me in the comment section it may help out other user as well so that's it with this video if you love my content then please subscribe to my channel so see ya have a great day i will catch up you in the next one